Okay, you finished making your sign and you need to be able to hang it. Are you going to use a traditional saw tooth hook like this? Or are you gonna step it up a notch and use the keyhole slots? Now, I know many of you are intimidated by keyhole slots. If you don't have a CNC machine to be able to make the keyhole slots like I showed there on the screen, you can still do the keyhole slots on a router table. I'm gonna show you how to do that today by using a keyhole slot on your project, whether you're using a CNC machine or you use a router table, it's going to really add a lot to the professionalism of the project itself. Keyhole bits are actually designed where you have a cutting surface here that comes down various diameters and it also cuts down into this area. And these keyhole slots can be purchased at any of the big box stores, hardware stores, all of them sell them. And the idea is you want to be able to cut down to create the hole and then this actually will be able to create that slot all the way through. Now this one I actually measure down about 0.28 of an inch to be able to make my slot. This is another design that's very similar and you can see the profile on this bit is almost identical. So you can pick up these keyhole bits just about anywhere. I'm going to add this bit into my router table, my router. And I want to set the depth of this to be about 0.28 of an inch. and we'll set the exact height down. Now this particular router bit has the index mark right here that I can use to set the height. If I turn this around, you'll see another index mark that's a little bit deeper. I prefer to use this shallow one right here. Let me get that light. There we go. I prefer to use this one. This one works real well for the different projects that I use. Not all of the keyhole slot bits have this indexing mark. And I'm going to use a scrap piece of wood to test it. I also want this key keyhole slot to be about an inch and a half down. So if that's going to be the distance down in this area, then I want to set the router fence up to that inch and a half off the center. So that will be close enough to be able to do it. And then we're going to test cut this and see how it works. I always like to do a test cut just to make sure that the depth is correct because you can look and set it just by eyeballing it to that index mark but without actually doing a test cut you really don't know exactly how deep that it is. Now that just shows just how easy it is to be able to cut the keyhole slot. Let's check the depth of this and see if we need to adjust that. So I have the caliber set to the inches and I'm just going to run this right down in there and that's about 0 0.30. That's actually close enough. Now, as far as the inch and a half measurement, that's real close. That is gonna be just fine at my inch and a half down from the top. So the fence is set correctly. The depth is close enough, 0 0.28, 0 0.30. Either works just fine. So now we have to lay this keyhole slot out on the project to see how we're gonna do it. The first thing that I like to do is mark the center. So this is 20 and 3 quarters of an inch. So if I measure over 10 and 3 eighths of an inch, that is going to give me my center point right here of this project. Now I want to be able to spread these out. And I think if I spread these out about one foot, so that's six inches on each side, 
I think that will be just fine. So that's where my two slots will be, an inch and a half down, right in this area here. But now let me show you how we're gonna set this up on the router table. Now the first thing I wanna do is measure to see where this is from each end. And that's going to be about four and three eighths of an inch. And I can verify that over here on this side just to make sure and that's exactly four and three eighths of an inch. We know that from the center of the bit to the end of our sign is four and three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna mark that right there and I'll put a small line. I want the slots to be two inches long. So since I want them two inches long, I'll come from the center and I'll mark right there. And I'll come over to here and mark that one. So there's my reference lines. I'll be able to put the router down into the slot right there. And then I can move it down to the other point and back again and out. And that's all there is to being able to do these type of cuts. So now to begin, have the router on, hold the sign against the fence and above the router bit. Line up the end right with that mark and we'll press straight down onto the router bit. And that plunges that router bit down into that material. From there, we can slide it to the right to our second line. And we can take this at a slow pace. We do not need to rush it. As soon as we reach the second line, we back it straight out to where we began and lift straight up. And that's really all there is to cutting these keyhole slots. So now to look at it, you can see the pencil mark where it indicated the center of it, and you can see how we plunged straight down, made our cut, and came back out. So that's all there is to it, and that's a perfect one. Now we'll repeat this same process to do the keyhole slot on the other side. Now the process will be exactly the same. Over here, we started right here, and we moved this direction, and then we came back. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna start right here at this point. We're gonna move this direction and then come back. So with the router running, I'm gonna hold the project board over the router bit. I have my mark set. I'm gonna plunge it straight down into the uh, material and then I can start making the cut. And what do I do? I'm going the opposite direction. That is not correct. Remember, I had just told you exactly how to make that cut, and I have to go to the right, and I did not do that. I don't know what I was thinking, but I went the wrong direction from what I had explained to you. So from here, this is done. We'll lift this up, and I'll show you the mistake that I had made, but quite frankly, it still will work. Well, you saw me move in the wrong direction. So I started here where I was supposed to, and I did, I went the wrong direction. But then I came back and made the rest of the hole the way it should be. So occasionally this will happen. Will this cause a problem with this? No, it's not. This will still work just fine, and it'll allow me to index off of these holes. But that shows you why doing it manually sometimes, yep, you can make a mistake. Now put the two screws in 12 inches apart, and that's gonna be centered directly below this sign. So I think that'll be a perfect location. It's level and all that's left now is to put the sign up. And I have the new sign mounted flush on the wall and it's centered on the sign above. And what I like best is it sits flush to the wall, just as the sign above sits flush to the wall. 
For the most part, I like to use the keyhole slots whenever possible. Because I think this is a lot nicer than when you use the sawtooth, you're standing off the wall, and I really don't like that. But I did this for this particular picture because doing a keyhole slot more than likely would have pierced the surface of this material. Now for all the CNC users out there, I'm going to put a link down in the description below so that you can see the videos where I set this up on the CNC machine to be able to cut these keyhole slots. That way, you'll be able to follow along and set your machine up exactly the same way. Now in this particular video that I'm showing behind me, this was set up in the VCAR Pro. And the other thing that I'll do too, is in the Easel software, there is an actual keyhole app. And I'll link a video to that one as well. So there you have the keyhole slots using the router table. Now, it's very simple to do, but you do have to kind of keep your head together and make sure that you don't make any mistakes. But if you do go in the wrong direction a little bit, that's really no big deal. But it also goes to show that I really like using the CNC machine to do the keyhole slots. Because if you program everything correctly, you're not going to have the little mistake that I made. So thanks a lot for watching this really short video today, and I look forward to seeing you real soon in the next one. So for now, bye-bye.